Hello everybody. Um, in today's lesson, we're going to be covering lesson 1.4. We're on page 25 of the second grade Go Math textbook. And we're going to work on something called expanded form today. And basically that just has to do with place value. And since we've been talking about tens and ones, that's what we're going to work on writing or breaking apart a number into their different place values into their tens and ones. All right, so we're gonna use blocks. Okay, this is a 10 block or our 10 rod. And we're gonna need some ones to model different numbers that they ask us to do. So for instance, this first number I want you to do, um, let's say Emmanuel puts 38 stickers on his paper. How can you model 38 with blocks? Okay, so we're modeling that number right there. How do you model that using blocks? So go ahead and pause the video and set up your blocks to show the 38. All right, so what did you get? So 38, the three means that there are three tens. Okay, three tens. And the eight means that there's eight ones. So 38. And so we can, instead of just using manipulatives, we can show that by drawing three tens and eight ones. Okay. All right. Here's another one. Let's try this. All right. So how can you model the number 83? All right. So we want to model this number using blocks. So go ahead and pause the video and um, set up your blocks to show the number 83. All right. So what did you get? So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight tens. Okay, turn sideways. So we have five tens there and we have three more there. That's eight. Okay, so the eight in 83 means there are eight tens and we need three ones. Okay. So this model shows 83, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83. Okay. So if we were draw, writing that out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then we'd have three ones, 83. All right, how about one more? How about the number... 77. All right, so go ahead and model that with your blocks. Pause the video until you have it set up and then check your answer. Okay. All right, what'd you come up with? So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Okay, so this first seven the first seven in 77 means there are seven tens or 70. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And the second seven means there are seven ones. Okay. So 75, 76, 77. All right, so then we can draw that model too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. Okay. All right, let's look at page 26. All right, what does 23 mean? Well, it means we have two tens. Ten plus ten is twenty, so two tens is twenty, and the three means you have three ones. 
So the 2 in 23 has a value of 2 tenths, or 20. The 3 in 23 has a value of 3 ones, or 3. So 2 tenths and 3 ones, or 20 plus 3. So these are both names for the number 23. This represents expanded form where we put it in its uh, the value of the tens plus the value of the ones. So we're breaking the number apart by tens and ones. All right, so let's draw a quick picture to show the number and describe the number in two ways. 37. So the three means we have three tens, and the seven means we have seven ones. All right, 10, 20, 30. 35, 36, 37. So we have three tens, seven ones. So what does it look like in its expanded form? Well, three tens is 30, plus what? The seven ones. 30 plus seven gives us 37. All right, how can we represent 54? Well, five means, the five means there are five tens, and the four means there are four ones. So what's the value of five tens? 50. And then how much is four ones? Four. So 50 plus four is 54. All right, how about 16? 16, well, the one means that there's only one ten. And the six, we know, means that there's six ones. So one ten, six ones. How much is one ten worth? Ten plus six ones, sixteen. All right, sixty. So the six means we have six tens. The zero means we have zero ones. So we're not going to draw anything in our model. We're going to say six. I sorry. We're going to say zero ones. So six tens is worth sixty, and sixty plus zero is sixty. Okay. All right. Let's look at page twenty-seven. All right. Draw a quick picture to show the number and describe the number in two ways. Forty-eight. So the four means four tens. And the eight means eight ones. So four tens, eight ones. How else can we write that? Well, four tens is 40, and eight ones is eight. So 48 can be broken up into 40 plus eight. 31, well, before we draw the model, that's going to be 30 plus one. One, two, three tens, one, one. And three tens is 30, and one, one is one. 59, that's going to be 50 plus nine. One, two, three, four, five tens, nine ones. So five tens is 50, and the nine is nine ones. 50 plus nine is 59. 75. Seven tens, five ones. Seven tens is 70, and five more. All right, number nine. Eric has four bags of 10 marbles and six single marbles. How many marbles does Eric have? Well, we can think of single as the ones, right? These can be considered singles. 70 plus five singles, or seven tens plus five singles. So singles is simply just ones. All right, so he has four bags of tens. All right, well, how many tens does he have? He has 10, uh, 4. And how many 
ones does he have? He has six. So how much does he have? He's got 40 plus six or 46. Okay, so four bags of 10 is 40 and six single marbles. So that would be a four bags of 10. And then he has six single marbles that aren't in a bag. Okay. All right, um, you're gonna need four different color crayons. We're gonna need a green, a blue, a red, and a yellow, or color pencil, something to uh, follow the steps in this, in this problem. Okay, so they said start at 51 and draw a green line to 43. Okay, and they've, they've done that for us. Five tens is 50, plus one is 51. So let's color that green. All right, and now draw a blue line from 43 to 34. So we're already at 43. So we have to find 34 on this side. Well, it could be on this side too, 34. No, 30 plus two, is that 34? Oh no, that's 32. That's not gonna work. Three tens and four ones, that's 34. All right, so 34. So we're gonna draw a blue line to that. Okay, number 12 says draw a red line from 34 to 29. 34 to 29, that's 15, that's 12, that's 72, that's 32, that's 29. Okay, so just straight up. All right, and our last one, we're going to draw a yellow line from 29 to 72. So we're at 29, we have to go to 72. Well, we said this was 72, 70 plus two. All right, and our last question on today's lesson. Draw a picture to show the number 26. Describe the number in two ways. All right, so 26. How many tens do we have? We have two tens and we have six ones. All right, so that's our picture. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So two tens, six ones. So we've broken up the 26 into its tens and its ones, and two tens is worth 20, and six ones is worth six, so 26. All right, so go ahead and continue practicing breaking um, a two-digit number into its tens and its ones place. Remember that when we have it written as the tens value plus the ones value, that that's called the expanded form of that number. So if you said write the expanded form of 26, you would write it as 20 plus 6. All right, so that's it for today's lesson. So until next time, I will see you soon.